Okay, so today I thought I'd take a quick look at a Dreamcast mod that I've been working on and it's a mod that I've actually only just recently found out about but it is an SD card reader for your Dreamcast and basically the point of this is so that you can run your homebrew or you can actually even load retail games from a, an SD card and quite a simple mod to do it's actually really surprisingly simple you're basically just running a cable there's, at the back of the Dreamcast there's a, a serial port and you're basically just running cables or wires even onto that, that port and soldering them on and then you've got this wee circuit here which is really simple just two two capacitors and an LED and a resistor and the SD card interface here and that's basically it what I'll do is I'll, I'll put some some uh, information and links to uh, the schematics and everything that you need to build this if you're if you're interested but basically all I did was I used a bit of strip board here uh, using the schematic I kind of made a, a design about how that was going to work um, I'll probably upload a picture of that as well just so if you want to build your own strip board version of it you can and you're basically just using you've got two um, capacitors here an LED and a resistor and to get the card interface what I did is I bought one of these um, multi card readers just ripped it apart you get them from the pound shop whatever and take the guts out and use the, the interface I'd actually just got a, a knife and cut the the board away and used it that used the, the interface from it sold it in place here but again as I said this is just a really rough kind of thing I threw together the other night just to see if it would work what I think I'll do is install this in here and extend that card reader out um, I've got another one here and I'll probably mount it on the side here oh. mount it on the side and then that way I can plug um, SD cards in and out without having to take the the whole Dreamcast apart kind of thing but yeah so to get the, the card reader to work you're gonna need some software and there's basically a homebrew kind of OS for the, the Dreamcast and it's called Dream Shell and it's really just a really simple operating system basically and from there you can plug in your keyboard, your, your controller, your memory card, your SD card, whatever and there's a file menu and you can you can launch ISOs or you can launch your homebrew uh, and do all that kind of stuff with it. There's two different versions of it here you've got the Dreamshell 4.0 and this is the SD loader so what this will actually do is you, you put that on and it will basically tell the Dreamcast to boot Dreamshell from the memory card. So I've also got a, I've also got the files for the, the Dreamshell on this memory card and I'll show you booting it from that in a minute. If you don't want to have the, the card plugged in for whatever reason you can just boot it straight from the, the disk normally and the Dreamcast will read all the information off the disk as opposed to um, reading it off the, the memory card with the SD loader. But what I'll do is I'll fire this up and give you a wee demonstration. The second part of this video I think I'll um, I'll show you some homebrew loading and oh the other thing as well you can do with this is you can actually rip your Dreamcast games onto the, the memory card. So if you want to back up your, your memory, your um, retail games you can basically do that using this uh, this software here. It's actually a wee app that you can use for the, the operating system and you can back up your, your retail games onto memory card which is a pretty cool feature. So what I'll do is I'll, fire, I'll turn this light off so, so you can see the, the LED a bit better. But turn that on. I don't know if you can see the LEDs lit up there. And what this will do is basically just tell the, the Dreamcast to boot from the, the SD card here. So there you go. You can see it's accessing there and it'll blink away.
and that's basically it just loading up there. As you can see from it flashing. That's it loaded. But basically really really simple mod. The hardest part is just soldering on the the connect the connections to the, the motherboard of the Dreamcast. And um, what I'll do, as I say, I'll put some diagrams or whatever in the description bar there. And if you're interested, you can have a go at this yourself. What I'll do now is I'll just move over to my main PC and I'll show you the, the Dreamcast booting some um, homebrew and some of the, the apps and stuff as well.